right guys it's me again and in today's video i'm gonna do a update of this video that i did two months ago and since we have the latest release of open call legacy patcher and i know there are some few changes that have been made so i'll be just doing this one a short video tutorial to show you how you can patch your wi-fi on the sonoma and this one is not for intel based uh, wireless card this is if you have the modern broadcom wireless cards only so if you are on intel you need to find the the necessary cakes that will be used on your intel wi-fi so if you have the the likes of the pen vt1 t919 card or the BCM Broadcom card net which were natively supported on Ventura and below so this is a video for you so as you can see here uh, my this is my Sonoma and if you go to about this mark you can see this is the version 23A 344 so 14.0 so and if you go to the sorry if you go to the Wi-Fi you can see nothing is happening so we'll need to patch that and as you if you could, if you check the sorry the github repository of the open core legacy patcher you can see the latest release of the open core legacy patcher was 14 hours ago the version 1.0.1 .1. so you and also in, in this video you don't need xcode or the kernel debug kit like this like what i i did on this video so you just need the application and the required cakes and that's all so without wasting much time let's go to the not the requirement let's go to the to the guide I'll leave a link in the description below where you can just use this one. So this one is for the Akintosh note. So let me just mount my EFI and then we can continue. So this is my 1TB. That, that is uh, that has this Sonoma. So let me just mount this partition. So first thing first, you need to disable the SIP. And also on your, we'll just go here and then the, the SIP disabling will do it as you restart our machine. So open your config.plist. Clover configurator or any any and then as you can see here it says you need to add this to your NVRAM so just go to NVRAM and then here we need to change first of all let me let me show you something before we continue if I so this is the latest version of open call legacy parser if i open it and try to patch my system let me just show you open if i go to post install root patch you can see the available patches for my system is networking modern wireless but I cannot patch this due to SIP is enabled require this or higher. Current reboot SIP this one. So what you need to do is so let's continue. Oh, let's go to here and then just copy this like so and then come paste it there and then let's go to we need to disable 
AMFI. Let's go to let's add this boot hug. Okay, here on the boot hugs, just paste it anywhere. I just paste it at the back, like so. And then let's save our config.py list. So the next thing we need to go to, let's block this iWalk, IO Skywalk cake. So what you need to do, copy that one. Come here, go to the kernel tab, and then on the block, make sure you're on the block, and then add, and then press this one here, and then say set the min kernel to 23. Dot zero dot zero. So mean kernel here, just paste it there, and then let's go to if you open the reference. You can see this one is the we need to downgrade the skywalk. So let's go let's just add this comment right here. So the next thing we need to make sure this one is blocked. So we jump this one. We need to disable secure boot. So I'll just we just go there next. So here on the strategy we need to exclude this one and then make sure we check the enable. The next step we need to come to miscellaneous and then on security tab you need to disable secure boot model make sure it's disabled so let's save our config.p list and then let's just close it fast the next step we need to inject these two cakes so these are the two cakes that we need to inject to our config or efi sorry just Copy it, open our EFI, OC, KEX, and then you can see I don't have the, the KEX, so let me just paste it there. So you can see this is our two KEX. The next thing we need to open our config.p list again. Let's go to the kernel. And then I need to I need to I need to add the cakes which will include our newly inst installed cakes. So let me just drag it here. And as you can see here we have the three newly two and one plugin right here. So what you need to do, we need to add this skywalk to the to be the first one, and then at, as it says here, you need to set the main kernel to 23 comma 0, 23 sorry dot 0 dot 0. So for all those cakes, so I'll just come here and then main kernel, I'll just paste it there. Also this one and this one so and that's it so let me just save and then just quit open code configurator so i'll just i'll need to restart the machine and then we can now come to patch our system or or we don't need to restart actually. Let me just run open call legacy patcher since but it says you need to so what you need to do you need to restart the machine. So let me just click here and then I'll see you in a minute. It's 1406. Okay, so we are on the recovery mode, so just click on continue. And then come here to utilities terminal and then you need to type this 
csr util disable hit enter so you can see uh, system protection is off you need to restart the machine so we we'll need to close this one and then restart okay guys so after the restart you can see the wi-fi has changed and you can see the available but if you go to to the wi-fi it does not show the available wi-fi network so that's what we need to do in the next step we need to patch our our Wi-Fi so what you need to do is just we need to open now the open call legacy patcher app and then go to post install root patch now as you can see right now we don't have any issue so we just need to since we have fixed it so we'll click on there and then enter your password Now the routing process is, or the patching process is starting. As you can see right here. Okay, you can see the message root patch of any success will release that will be good now. So I'll just reboot the system and then you can see you can see if the Wi-Fi will sh the Wi-Fi network will show here. So I think 14, 14, 15. So let me just. So okay, folks. So as you can see, we are just restart the machine and you can just now we can now. enable the Wi-Fi and disable and now the network is showing right here as you can see and then you can just connect to the internet like so and then you can just the internet is working and if you go to network you can see the Wi-Fi is connected and all the known networks are here and everything is just cool so guys that's it for this video please if you are not subscribed to the video just subscribe share share and I'll see you on the next one and I hope that you will fix your Broadcom Wi-Fi issue with this tutorial. And I'll see you on the next one. Please.